Hello and welcome to 12.6 Notes. Today's notes is on surface area and volume of a sphere, a sphere or a ball, a three-dimensional ball or a sphere. Okay. First off, let's do the uh, volume. The volume of a sphere, the formula for the volume of a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed, where r is the radius of the sphere. Okay. Um, so let's do a problem uh, based on this, okay? Find the volume of a sphere with radius equals 5 yards, okay? And the answer uh, is, well, let's write down the formula again. Volume of a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed, and so that's 4 thirds pi times the radius cubed. The radius is 5, so that's where I get the 5 from, okay? And then 5 cubed is 125, so I'm just working this out now. And then um, 4 thirds of 125 is 166 and 2 thirds pi cubic yards. Okay, so that would be the volume of the sphere in exact form, and that um, is approximately equal to 523.6 cubic yards. Okay, if you just uh, multiply 166 and 2 thirds by pi. Okay, um, so that's the uh, formula for the volume of a sphere, and um, you're, uh, you will also be responsible for the surface area of a sphere, and the volume for the surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r squared, again, where radius, or r rather, is the radius of the sphere. All right, so uh, what kind of problems might you expect? Uh, with surface area of sphere problems, okay? Uh, problem two, find the surface area of a sphere with diameter equals 40 feet. And again, you start off with the formula for surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r squared, and the radius is half the diameter. So if the diameter is 40, the radius is 20. So that's where I get the 20 from, okay? And then 20 squared is 400. Okay, so I'm just working that out. And 4 times 400 is 1,600 pi square feet is the surface area of this sphere or this ball. And then if you multiply 1,600 by pi, you get 5,026.55 square feet. So that would be, um, for example, how much wrapping paper you would need. And boy, that's a lot of wrapping paper, right? Um, you would need to... Uh, completely cover, the minimum amount of wrapping paper you would need to completely cover uh, this ball. Say if you wanted to give this large ball uh, as a gift and you didn't want to put it in a box or anything like that. So then that would be how much wrapping paper it would take to cover the surface of this sphere with a diameter of 40 feet. Okay? Uh, and then there's one more type of problem uh, you can expect to get and that is find the radius of a sphere. Okay? the radius of a sphere now is going to be the unknown, um, given the surface area is 30 pi square inches. So in this case, we know the surface area and we have to find the radius. Okay. So again, we'll start off with the formula for the surface area of a sphere. It equals 4 pi r squared. Um, but in this case, I know that the surface area is 30 pi. So that's where that 30 pi comes from. I'm substituting that in for surface area. Okay. And then um, moving along, you have 30 pi is equal to 4 pi r squared. Okay, so I'm just bringing that down since I'm actually trying to find, in this case, the radius, right? So I notice that I, I have a pi on both sides of the equation, so I can uh, divide those out, right? And you get 4 r squared equals 30. I just commuted the 4 r squared with the 30. So 4 r squared equals 30. 30, you can divide out the pi's, and then you divide both sides by 4, and you get r squared equals 7.5. Take the square root of both sides, and finally you get that your radius is 2.74 inches. Okay? You'll also get problems like this as well. So uh, that's the end of the lecture. If you have any questions or concerns, as usual, it would be my pleasure to help you. So uh, just contact me, ask me questions uh, anytime you want, and I would love to help you out. Okay? Bye-bye.